Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the NEPA Tribe Tour. I'm not in a restaurant. Where are you? I'm in my kitchen. You're in your kitchen? And what's T that? Tonight, we have a very special NEPA Tribe Tour. The Tribe King, those of you who don't know him, made me my own tripe tonight to review. Who's the Tripe King? His name is Lou Rusby. Mm. He's from our area. He's been making tripe for... He's from up the valley. I don't know, 30, 40, 50 years? I guess so. And we would have had him on, but I didn't know he came by today to drop the tripe off, so... You were busy. I would have made it. But we also have a dry drinker this evening. Dry this Secco Groovy. The Get Groovy Dry Secco. Mm. They say that it's um, white, it's floral, it's sweet. So we're about to find out. Look at that. For those of you who are wondering what dry secco is, it's a form of a wine, but this is the N.A. version of it. Look at that. N.A. Pro Secco. N.A. NA dry secco. Dry secco. Ooh, I smell some flower, flowery taste. Do you eat flowers? Uh-oh. No? We eat elderflowers every day. It tastes pear. Pear? Oh. Maybe some oranges, maybe some lavender. A little citrusy? Yeah. All right. The, the, the king, he gave the you king bread? He gave me bread. Wow. Now, if I can just open this, give me a minute. All right. Some All right. Saran wrap challenge. Here so, we go. What does it smell like? Mm. Does, well, it smell like does it smell like the tripe? Doesn't no. smell like last week. <laughs> it doesn't smell like last one. week. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. That is. All right, and as you can see, you can't really tell it's tripe. This is how it's supposed to be made. So he's loaded up on the bread like that? Yeah. Oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see the texture. There it is. All right, here we go, Lou, here we go. Um, I'll give you sound effects. Rawr. Yeah, baby. Mm. I don't smell it on my plate. Nope. It's not undercooked. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and smooth. It's smoother smooth. than our Carol's The Next Generation. Is it, is it chewy? Mm -mm. Is there a lot of filler in there? Did he put like onions and peppers and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some onions, there's some peppers. Mm -hmm. The way the Italians make it. Excellent, Amundo. Why don't you load another pizza on a, another... Scooper on Are there. you going to try some? No, I'm not. <laughs> but you can't smell it, can you? I can't smell it, no. I can tell you what I am going to try. Let's throw them the uh, Broccoli Rob Queen. Oh, yeah, bring that over. The Broccoli Rob Queen mm. sent us a whole... And the bro Broccoli Rob Queen is Lucia's mother. And mm. they brought us a whole mm. container mm. of Broccoli Robbie. So now, you get to sample that as well. Mm -mm -mm. Careful, there's garlic in here. Look at this. There is some garlic. It's, it's a little steamy, too. Look at this. Don't burn yourself. Oh, your mama makes the best. Mm. Real Italian. Broccoli rub. Look at the garlic going through that. That's perfection. Does it need salt? No. No, it does not eat salt. So, Mr. Rusby. Tripe King, 10 out of 10. In fact, 11 out of 10. You got 11 out of 10. I you 11 Woo out of 10. Hoo, I need your recipe. Mm -hmm. I need to learn how to make this like you make it all the time. <laughs> You're going to have to go, go up there and learn. Delicious. Mm -hmm. If you like this episode, gang, subscribe, like, comment down below. Let me know where you like to get your tripe at so that we can definitely check out your restaurant of choice. And until next time... Good night.